Good morning, and as we begin our rosary today on this Feast of the Sacred Heart, we'll sing two verses of Gift of Finest Wheat, verse 1 and 5. Gift of Finest Wheat. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. As when the shepherd calls his sheep, they joining us live on Facebook, welcome not only to the Father Peyton Center, where we are currently in Easton, Massachusetts, but welcome to the World Priest Global Rosary Relay. Today is a very special day. All day long, millions of people throughout the world in more than 85 countries are praying the rosary in thanksgiving for our priests. I checked online, and there's even a parish in Iceland that's praying today. So way to go, Church of Mary, Star of the Sea. On April 25th, Pope Francis was pleased to learn of the annual Global Rosary Relay for Priests to take place today on the Most Sacred Heart of Jesus Solemnity. He joins all taking part in praying that priests everywhere will be confirmed in their ministry of proclaiming and celebrating the merciful love of Christ the Redeemer, and that they may become ever more fully shepherds after his own heart. To all participating, he cordially imparts his apostolic blessing. What a great day to pray together, the solemnity of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And as we pray, we hold dear in our thoughts and prayers all priests throughout the world who strive to live lives of compassion, modeled on loving with the same heart of Jesus. In our chapel here, we're blessed to be in the company not only of Father David Marcham, a diocesan priest of Boston, but also Fathers Leo Pacelli, Willie Raymond, Jilson Tom, Pinto Paul, and Jim Phelan, who are priests in the Congregation of Holy Cross. And you may not know this, but the patron of Holy Cross priests is the Sacred Heart of Jesus. So we pray for them in a special way uh, on this, their feast day. Our rosary reflections will come from our Holy Cross spirituality of reflecting more deeply on this love of Jesus, a loving heart driven even to the cross for us. And so we will pray the sorrowful mysteries. But before we pray our rosary, on behalf of all of us gathered here today, I would just like to thank the National Blue Army Shrine of Our Lady of Fatima in the state of New Jersey, who have passed on the baton to us, as it were, in this rosary relay for priests. Blessings to all of you out there and to your priests. We're keeping you in our prayers as well. So, praying for all our priests and keeping in mind all our intentions and needs as we always do, 
we begin our rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, and was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe, I believe in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the, the Holy Catholic, Holy Catholic Church, Church, the, the communion of saints, the forgiveness, forgiveness of sins, the, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. For an increase of faith in our world today, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of hope in our world today, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of love in our world today, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And for our intentions of Pope Francis, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first sorrowful mystery, Jesus' agony in the garden. We read in scripture, They went to a place called Gethsemane, and Jesus said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. He took Peter, James, and John along with him, and he began to be dis deeply distressed and troubled. Stay here and keep watch, he said. Jesus entered into the pain and death that sin inflicts. He accepted the torment but gave us joy in return. We whom he has sent to minister amid the same sin and pain must know that we too shall find the cross and the hope it promises. The face of every human being who suffers is for us the face of Jesus who mounted the cross to take the sting out of death. Ours must be the same cross and the same hope. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery, Jesus scourged at the pillar. We read in scripture, Wanting to satisfy the crowd, Pilate released Barabbas to them. He had Jesus scourged and handed him over to be crucified. To struggle for justice and meet only stubbornness. To try to rally those who have despaired. To stand by the side of misery and suffering that we cannot relieve. To preach the Lord to those who have little faith or do not even wish to hear of him. Every part of our lives will hint of Jesus suffering for us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give Give us this day our daily bread, and and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery, Jesus crowned with thorns. We read in scripture, the soldiers twisted together a crown of thorns and put it on his head. They clothed him in a purple robe and went up to him again and again, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. 
whether it be unfair treatment, fatigue or frustration at work, or a lapse of health, tasks beyond talents, seasons of loneliness, bleakness in prayer, the aloofness of friends, or whether it be the sadness of our having inflicted any of this on others, there will be dying to do on our way to the Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, world without end. Amen. The fourth sorrowful mystery. Jesus carries his cross. We read in scripture, Finally, Pilate handed Jesus over to them to be crucified. So the soldiers took charge of Jesus, and carrying his own cross, he went to what was called the place of the skull, Golgotha. But we do not grieve without hope, for Christ the Lord has risen. He dies no more. He has taken us into the mystery of a life that springs up out of death. If we, like him, encounter and accept suffering in our own discipleship, we will move without awkwardness among others who suffer. We must be men and women with hope to bring. There is no failure the Lord's love cannot reverse, no humiliation he cannot exchange for blessing. No anger he cannot dissolve, no routine he cannot transfigure. All is swallowed up in victory. He has nothing but gifts to offer. It remains only for us to find how even the cross can be borne as a gift. The footsteps of those who have gone before us in the faith have left deep prints, as of men and women carrying heavy burdens. But they did not trudge. They strode, for they had hope. It is the Lord Jesus calling us, Come, pick up your cross, and follow me. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery, Jesus' crucifixion. We read in Scripture, Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother, his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother there, and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to her, Woman, here is your son. And to the disciple, here is your mother. There stood by the cross of Jesus his mother Mary, a woman who knew much sadness and was a lady of sorrows. She is our mother too, a woman who bore much she could not understand, yet who stood fast. To us, her many sons and daughters, whose devotions bring them often to her side, she tells much of this daily cross and its daily hope. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, the world without end. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother Mother of mercy, mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of virgins, our Mother. To you do we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer them. Amen. Please join us in praying continuously for the beatification of Venerable Father Patrick Payton. Dear Jesus, Father Payton devoted his priestly life to strengthening the families of the world by calling them to pray together every day, especially the Rosary. His message is as important for us now as it was during his life on earth. We beg you, therefore, to hasten the day of his beatification so that the faithful people everywhere will remember his message, that the family that prays together stays together will maintain him in his devotion to your mother and ours, and will be inspired by his holy life to draw ever closer to you with childlike confidence and love. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, descend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, Cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Our Lady of the Rosary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Venerable Patrick Payton, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lastly, before we pass the spiritual baton off in this relay for praying for priests, We want to close by praying together, and please join us if you're on live, the prayer that His Holiness Benedict XVI wrote 
for priests. Lord Jesus, eternal high priest, you offered yourself to the Father on the altar of the cross, and through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, gave your priestly people a share in your redeeming sacrifice. Hear our prayer for the sanctification of our priests. Grant that all who are ordained to the ministerial priesthood may be ever more confirmed to you, the Divine Master. May they preach the gospel with pure heart and clear conscience. Let them be shepherds according to your own heart, single-minded in service to you and to the Church, and shining examples of a holy, simple, and joyful life. Through the prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary, your Mother and ours, draw all priests and the flocks entrusted to their care to the fullness of eternal life, where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We now spiritually send the rosary relay off to the next leg of the race, so to speak, to the Dominican friars at the diocesan shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary and St. Dominic in Haverstock Hill in London. World Priest would also like us to announce as well that the next date for this global rosary relay will be held on June 11th, 2021. Thank you for praying for our priests throughout the world. And our daily mass here will begin in, in just a moment. Our opening song for Mass today is There's a Wild Whiteness in God's Mercy. There's a Whiteness in God's Mercy, number 670. There's a whiteness in God's mercy, like the whiteness of the sea. There's a kindness in His justice, which is more than liberty. There is plentiful redemption in the blood that has been shed. There is joy for all the members in the sorrows of the head. For the love of God is broader than the measures of Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And also with you. Brothers and sisters, uh, today we remember at Mass, especially Tim and Deb Bentivenia. They are good friends of ours, and we're glad to uh, pray in a special way for them on this solemnity of the Sacred Heart of our Lord Jesus Christ. The, this uh, wonderful uh, rosary rally around the world was uh, inspired by uh, Marion Mulhall, uh, an Irish woman uh, who was born in Dublin and just by divine providence, Father Peyton happened to be in Dublin and he blessed her while she was still in the hospital. So uh, this, this woman, this good woman, uh, has been inspired to pray for the sanctification, for the holiness of priests around the world and we thank God for, for her. Pope Benedict uh, said this, The divine heart of Jesus calls to our hearts, inviting us to come out of ourselves, to abandon our human certainties, 
and to trust in him and following his example to make of ourselves a gift of love without reserve. Let us take a moment to welcome the flood of God's grace that comes to us always through the, the wounded and sacred heart of Jesus. <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ, in you resides all the fullness of divinity. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus Christ, in you the Father pours out his love upon the earth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. Lord Jesus Christ, in your love is all our hope for the life to come. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us all to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth, earth peace to people of good will. Good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, our mighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray with hearts open to the grace and mercy of the Sacred Heart of Jesus this day. O God, who in the heart of your Son, wounded by our sins, bestow on us in mercy the boundless treasures of your love. Grant, we pray, that in paying him the homage of our devotion, we may also offer a worthy reparation through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son. He lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, You are a people sacred to the Lord your God. He has chosen you from all the nations on the face of the earth to be a people peculiarly his own. It was not because you are the largest of all nations, for you are the smallest of all nations. It was because the Lord loved you and because of his fidelity to the oath he had sworn to your fathers that he brought you out from, with his strong hand from the place of slavery and ransomed you from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Understand then that the Lord your God is God indeed the faithful God who keeps his merciful covenant down to the thousandth generation toward those who love him and keep his commandments, but who repays with destruction a person who hates him. He does not dally with such a one, but makes them personally pay for it. You shall therefore carefully observe the commandments, the statutes, and the decrees that I enjoin on you today. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. The, the Lord's, Lord's kindness, kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. him. Bless the Lord, O my soul. All my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The, the Lord's, Lord's kindness, kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. 
He pardons all your iniquities, heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction, crowns you with kindness and compassion. The The Lord's Lord's kindness kindness is everlasting everlasting to to those who fear fear him. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. The The Lord's Lord's kindness kindness is everlasting everlasting to those who fear him. him. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only Son into the world, so that we might have life through him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we must also love one another. No one has ever seen God, yet if we love one another, God remains in us and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him and he in us, that he has given us of his spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testify that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God, and God in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. yoke upon you, says the Lord, and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, And no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. (laughs) 
I place all my trust in him. First, the true story about the Sacred Heart as a phone, and then the Sacred Heart as a path to living in the world with uh, a sense of awe, and finally, the Sacred Heart that blesses the family home. First, the late great president of Stonehill College, Father Bartley McFadden, had in his family home growing up two images of the Sacred Heart. Mother made sure that our family was consecrated to the Sacred Heart, he said. There was a large picture of Jesus with a space below him where the names of my parents, James and Margaret, and the seven of us were written in. And there was another Sacred Heart picture in our bedroom where it served the additional purpose of covering a hole in the wall where someone had punched a knot out of the wood. The hole which the Sacred Heart covered was called the foam by us. Whenever the fight uh, erupted in the boys' bedroom, which was nightly, whoever was being persecuted made straight for the picture, moved it aside, and bellowed into the foam, and the sound carried into the attic above the kitchen, and the adults below uh, could hear the call for help, and usually one of them would come to rescue the poor brother in trouble. When the mother, Margaret, was asked, how is the Sacred Heart treating you today, Maggie? Because it was clear that this was her favorite devotion. She always would say the same answer in a soft voice. I place all my trust in him. Friends, there are two ways of living in the world. There's the way of the wise and the learned, a state of mind that is attached to its present knowledge. It glories in what it knows. The Father and the gifts of the Father are hidden from hearts too hard to open. And this is important, but to these little ones, the Father wishes to reveal his life and love. How must people live in this world to receive this free flow of life and love. They should have the eager openness of children, comfortable with being dependent on a reality larger than they are. Jesus is the perfect model of this infant capability. He lives in an interdependent relationship of love with the Father. The love between the Father and Son is mutual and complete. Jesus fully realizes all those things that are hidden from the wise and the learned. This revelation is not just for Jesus' individual benefit. He passes on to others the gift of this relationship of love to us. In fact, this is what drives him. He says, come to me, all you who are weary and carrying heavy, heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon your shoulders and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. This is the ecstatic prayer of Jesus that the solemnity of the Sacred Heart blesses us with today, a prayer that we will be filled with awe at how great God's love is and how it is the key to, and, and how it is key to sharing in that love with others. To me, finally, there are few more delightful experiences than to enter a home where the Sacred Heart of Jesus is the first image that welcomes you. The unspoken but clear message is that God, whose love is so abundant that you can see it, this Lord is master of this home. Jesus prays, come to me all who are weary and find life burdensome, and I will give you rest.
If nothing can separate us from the love of God made manifest in the human heart of Jesus, then nothing is too small or too great for his concern. For Pope Francis, our bishop, priests, and all who serve the church, may the Lord strengthen them in their mission of bringing the light of Christ to a weary world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic and community leaders, may the Holy Spirit help them to lead peacefully and work cooperatively. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who feel abandoned, unwanted, or rejected, may the compassionate love of God bring them hope, healing, and consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may the Lord deepen our understanding of his love at work in our midst. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died in the light of Christ, may his sacred heart envelop them in his love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for whatever else or whom else we should pray today. I'd like to pray for Father Leo, Father Leo's uh, brother, Tony, who is uh, quite ill, and also for uh, Cindy Slattery's father, uh, Bob Slattery, for, for God's blessings on them in these final hours of their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who grieve the loss of a loved one, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Pray for Archbishop Moses, let's pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who are away from the church, that they may know of Christ's love for them and come back to his merciful sacred heart, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And as the priests of the Congregation of Holy Cross celebrate this patronal feast, we extend our gratitude to God for the vocations that we are receiving. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Let's pray too for the beatification of Father Peyton, for God's continued blessings on all those who continue his great work of helping families pray around the world, and for all those uh, who are our friends and benefactors of this work, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. O oh God, our Father, in honoring the heart of your beloved Son, we tell the wonders of your love for all people. May your church always mirror your love to the world. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become spiritual drink. Bless, Bless thee, God, God forever. forever. Pray, brothers and sisters in Christ, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Look, O oh Lord, we pray on the surpassing charity of the heart of your beloved Son, that what we offer may be a gift acceptable to you and an expiation for our offenses through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. 
Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side, the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that one over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so, with angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save, Save us, Savior, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate this memorial of our redemption, we recall Christ's death, his resurrection from the dead. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Edgar, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Andre Bessette, with St. Mary, Margaret, Margaret Mary Alacoque, with uh, Blessed Basil Moreau, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. the body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already here, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Thus says the Lord, let whoever is thirsty come to me and drink. The streams of living water will flow from within the one who believes in me. Let us pray. May this sacrament of charity, O Lord, make us fervent with the fire of holy love so that drawn always to your Son, we may learn to see him in our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I'd like to share a, a prayer from the uh, directory from 1859, prayer to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. It's in the Congregation of Holy Cross. Most loving Jesus, see how far your exceeding love has reached. Of your own flesh and most precious blood, you have prepared for me a divine table in order to give yourself wholly to me. What has impelled such extensions of your love? Surely nothing else but your most loving heart. Adorable heart of Jesus, burning fire of divine charity, receive my heart within your most sacred wound. To that end, that in this school of love, I may make a return of love to the God who has given me such wondrous proofs of his love. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.